Hello, this is an announcement about the new series that I am making now. In order to learn C Sharp WPF and help migrate from Windows Forms to WPF, we will make a game for kids called Pet, using only Visual Studio. Frankly speaking, WPF is not suitable for making games, as there is no graphics engine. If you don't need WPF and you want only to make video games, especially commercial ones, then you should take a look at Unity 3D. Let's see what you will have by the end of this short course. There are a few options which you can change. The rules are quite simple. You need to make your pet 100% happy. The hunger of your pet increases every day. This is bad for the pet's happiness. You get one coin and one free hour every day. They are your resources. The more you win, the more options you have before the game begins. You can always erase your results if you want. You choose your pet, its name and age. Every pet and age is different. When you start, your choice is very limited at first. As you see, I can only use a puppy and its age is one month. Everything else is blocked for now. On the right you see description of your pet. Then the game begins. You can see happiness of your pet, resources and hunger in the top right corner. In the middle top you see how much time is left, it can be different with some pets. Every day you see daily comments. Sometimes there are useful tips. If you don't like them, you can disable them in the options window. If you save your coins, you can buy some cool items with one time or constant effect. The main choice you make is between two options. From time to time you get the third option. The cost and effect of each choice is different. Because you have limited time, you cannot buy anything, so you have to make decisions. For example, I decide to buy a big bone, which will help me get rid of hunger forever. Even when you get the third choice, I just play with your pet. You need a specific amount of resources, which you may not have like me now. As you see, I lost. That means that I did something wrong, but I can replay it. So go ahead and subscribe not to miss part 1.